Hi, this is Eric with Pure Beauty Fitness, and spring is around the corner here in Minnesota. It's finally sunny out, people outside, short sleeves, even though it's 50 degrees, that's the way we roll here in Minnesota. And as we're getting this warm weather, we start thinking about summer and what's one of the body parts we want to look good for summer. Abs, all right? Abs are a, a big important thing for a lot of people, you know? And so we want to train the abs right so we create a strong girdle underneath, which will pull the abs in, which we're not actually taking the fat off the top because you can't fat reduce, but we're actually making that girdle title so we have better posture so those abs appear better. The other thing you got to do with the abs, and I tell people this, they ask me what the best, ab, ab, uh, best exercise is for abs, it's the push away. It means push the plate away, push the junk food away. You got to eat clean if you want to see the abs, but while you're working on your diet, you can be working on the abs development underneath. So I'm going to give you a three-step ab routine today that you can do anywhere at home in the gym that you can, you can work into your routine or your current routine or change up if you're kind of bored with your ab routine. Give this one a try. So our three-step ab approach starts like this. We're going to do what's called a jackknife. This is a great move for core stability. We're going to sit long, point your toes and arms overhead. You're going to bring both halves together. Then you're going to come back real slow. Pause here, point your belly button in. Bring them in. Toes flex back. Point them. Get as long as you can. You're going to try to see how long you can get your body with maintaining the stability. You might only get to here. You might be able to get here, wherever you can control. So you're going to do the jackknife, you're going to do 10 to 15 of those, and then you're going to follow, put your hands on the side of your head, don't grab your neck, so you're not jacking up your neck. Just follow the bicycle. Now the bicycle, a lot of people do it like this. We're going to go, elbow touches the knee, this leg is pointed, transition, transition and hold, transition and hold. I'm not just doing this, it's a full length bicycle. I'm going to go 10 to 15 cycles. Make sure I'm getting my elbows as close to that knee, if not touching that knee, and that other leg is completely straight and parallel. Third thing I'm going to do is a good old side plank. I'm going to put my hand right here, and I'm going to keep my shoulder blades back, my hips forward. I'm going to drive my elbow into the ground, my foot into the ground, and I'm going to come up, hold for two seconds, come down, tap that hip up, hold two seconds, tap with that hip. Remember, this shoulder is actually doing stability, so I'm going to push into the ground. You've got to push in with that forearm to create some stability in that shoulder joint. So I'm going to do 10 to 15 reps on each side. So once again, I'm just going to roll through it. 10 to 15 jackknives. 10 to 15 bicycles going nice and long. Transition, each side pause. And then 10 to 15 side planks with a hold at the top. I'm going to do three set, two to three cycles, 10 to 15 reps each. So I'm going to do a circuit of all three of those. Rest 30 to 60 seconds, do another circuit. Rest 30 to 30, 30, 60 seconds, do another circuit. Do two to three circuits, 10 to 15 reps each. Give this a try. Clean up your eating and you'll see some great abs this summer. That's this week's tip from Pure Reading Fitness. We'll see you next week.